Hey, babes, what's this? Oh, this is a book of magic tricks you're going to do some tonight for Beth's party. Well, I've never done magic tricks before. Well, now's your chance to learn. Sarah! Oh, there <laughs> she is! Happy little princess! Happy birthday, Happy <laughs> birthday, sweetheart! Can you open my present? Mm. Oh, I think you can see Miss Mother's birthday girl. Oh, she knows it's one to go for, though. Mm. Yes, that's fun. I wonder. <laughs> what is it? Do you know what it is yet? <laughs> Look at it! it what is it? Ooh! Wow! Is it what you wanted? Get a to mine. Do, don't you want to open the others? Mm. Go on then, a bit of lipstick, but hurry up, because we've got to get your breakfast and get to school. Hey, babes, you're not serious about this magic, are you? We can make a tempe disappear or something, can't you? Oh, can it make little teenage boys disappear and turn up at their exam? <laughs> Why, what's he got today? Do you mean what's he missing today? Oh, no, he is taking that exam today. Make me she think she is. <laughs> there we are. Oh. <gasps> wow, i surprised you remembered. Oh, you made me an uncle at nine, Sarah. How could I forget? What is it? Cyanide tablets. What did you take me for? It's body glitter. Oh, you can wear some of that tonight, sweetheart. Thank you. It's all right. No, seriously, thanks. You know, it's thoughtful. She's into that at the moment. All right, don't overdo it. What time's your birthday party then, Beth? Half four. Mmm. Be sure to save us some cake then, won't you? Why aren't you coming? Yeah, it's just in case my exam runs over. Thought so you're taking it then? I have to, I've no choice. I've had to last night. Well, I'm pleased to hear it. Getting nervous already. I'm sure Jason and Bill will make short shrift of anything going begging when it's all finished. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God! Who's this? Don't you look lovely? Oh, I didn't know you got a film star staying here, Sarah. <laughs> Mummy, can I put some makeup on? Oh, of course you can. Should get your vanity case, don't help you? Beth, oh, are you a lucky girl, my darling, eh? Now, oh, what's this? Hello. It, it's glitter. Oh, glitter. Just in time to blow up some balloons. Oh, great. Oh, where's Bill? You'll be in a bit. Oh, trust him to disappear when work needs doing. There you go. Did uh, David get to school all right? Yeah. More to the point, did he stay? Well, he didn't bunk off while I were there. He seemed quite confident to me. I think he just might have turned a corner. Mother, stop fussing. Hey, you've really done better oh. me proud. Do you know, that jelly isn't right. Ooh, what's wrong with it? It's not wobbly enough. Do you know, they've all bought presents. Goodness knows where you're going to put them all. Mm. Uh, have I missed something? Sarah thinks a jelly lacks wobble. <laughs> no problems here, eh? Oh, did behave. <laughs> oh, you are all wet. Now, that's magic. Don't even start, you. <laughs> you all right? Oh, what? Huh? So, how'd it go? Yes, yeah, totally rocked. <laughs> so, it went really well? I just said so, didn't I? See, nothing to worry about. Come on, Jason! Oh, oh, my my I'm going! I'll get it! Isn't that a yeah, I think you better come through. Oh, Alright, come on, let's have a picture. Oh, oh, you ready? Smiling, Smiling. Bethany. Whee! Is this a bad time? Ah, uh, well, it's my granddaughter's birthday party, as you can hear. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but this can't wait. You better come here. Bethany! Happy birthday to you! Hip, hip! can wipe that grin off your face right now. You never went to that exam. Oh, he went all right. I've seen the chaos to prove it. Oh, you look gorgeous, babe. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the guy lashes, Mummy? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Babes, come here. <laughs> In all our time at the school, my colleagues and I have never witnessed anything like this. You turned up. You stayed till the end. Yeah, it'd have been rude not to. How could you set fire to your exam paper? I, um, sort of lit it. Is that all you've got to say for yourself, David? Whoops. I have to say, Mrs. Platt, I am at an utter loss regarding your son. Welcome to our world. Could you not do the exam? Is that what it was? Oh, don't make excuses for him, Gabe. The questions were a joke. Any old moron could answer them. 
Unbelievable, it's not the slightest remorse. Well, don't come over all innocent with me, Gran. You burnt your bra back in the day. Don't push it, David. So, you're saying that this was some bizarre form of protest? No, just did it for a laugh. Oh, you need help. So what happens now? Well, I'm afraid David's actions have forced my hand. As of now, he is excluded from school. As you can see, I'm really choked. And what about his other exams? Well, he can still sit them. Providing he sign and abide by a behaviour contract. Behaviour contract? It's like an Asbo light. Oh, and you lot say I'm weird. David, come back here. I will need David's signature on this by tomorrow night at the latest. You'll get it first thing. Signed in blood if needs be. Yeah, but he's not a man. He's a spoiled brat. Still, it couldn't do any harm, eh? He's beyond listening. Have I got it all off yet, what? <laughs> Hello, sailor. Are you funny, you? Come here, you tart. I'll do it. Do you know, I don't like saying this, but I think it's time they brought back national service. Mm, never did me any harm. What that lad needs is a short, sharp shot. It's not going to happen. But there's no consequences anymore, girl, are there? I mean, all these kids are running riot, and we're supposed to pussyfoot around and understand them, for goodness sake. Do you know, if they want to cut these greenhouse emissions, they should gag some of these behaviour experts. No, no, better still, drown the lot of them. Gran, just chill out, have a drink. Oh, I'm sorry, darling, it's just that I'm sick to the back teeth of all this nonsense. You might not be as bad as you think, you know. Oh, really? Well, he's just putting it about rebelling. Plenty of kids do it. I was no angel at his age. Babes, don't you dare compare yourself to that weirdo of a brother. I'm not. For a start, he's hundred times cleverer than I was. Jason? Well, it's true. All right, so he's messed up big style. He can still get his qualifications, though. It doesn't justify his behaviour. No, it doesn't. I'm just saying he needs a bit more space. Oh, hello, Dr. Jason. Is this the ostrich technique, is it? We all bury our head in the sands while Nero's out there stands and watches his whole life go up in flames. Give him space, I ask you. Give him space. She's right, lad. What he needs is a good kick up the backside. I'm just saying, pal, the harder you push... Radio push back.